Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Um, <clears throat> there are some things that I'm going to be doing um, to make things a little bit easier um, for just the videos in general. So um, I'm trying to set up a better filming location because every time I do this, that happens. Um, and I talk with my hands a lot and then do that. So I'm going to try not to draw attention to that anymore. Um, cause I don't want anyone to be like, what the F man? Um, so that's what's going on with that. Um, second, um, I have gotten some feedback, I guess you would call it on what people um, are wanting me to go over, like things that I had started that I never finished. Um, shocker. Um, but like little things and like, um, like what their favorite videos of mine have been and to do more like that and stuff of that nature. So if there's something um, that you watching... Um, or like, oh man, I wish you would do more of these again, or I would like to see you do just this, you've never done it before, or something like that. If there's anything <clears throat> in that realm that uh, you would like to see more of or whatever, leave a comment down below. And if you don't like leaving comments, just send me an email to um, IHateMattWall at gmail.com, and I will get those there. Um, it's funny because it has been totally quiet for like an hour and now there's like big ass trucks driving up and down the road again. Okay. So anyway, people, the black circle, let's get into it. Um, this, um, in our Conan chronology, um, we're, we're getting, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, we have a few more stories to go. And, um, this is kind of the cusp of Howard's, um, middle period to late period, um, Conan writings. And <clears throat> the funny thing about this story, um, is this is one that is generally loved by um, Conan fans. Like, this is like... It, it has everything. It has tons of world building. It has amazing sorcery. It has um, a beautiful maiden. Um, and Conan doing some crazy shit. This one is not one of my favorite Conan stories. And I don't know if it's because of the length of it. Um, this one's kind of a chunker um, compared to a lot of the other stories. I think it's roughly 30,000 words, um, if I recall correctly. Um, but this is another one. <clears throat> this is another one of those stories where... Conan doesn't show up until way later. Um, until, I think, chapter four, Conan doesn't show up, which always annoys me. But the reason being is because there's a ton of world building to do here. And there's tons of characters. And um, a lot of kind of housekeeping that Howard has to do in order to get us to um, the point where Conan can come in and the story can actually begin. Um, I'm going to kind of, because this is such a big story, um, I'm going to just kind of go through some parts. Um, I don't want to do like a play-by-play uh, -play here for you on it, or else we'll be here all day. But... Um, some of the 
some of the things in this story that are really really cool um one one well one of them is uh princess yasmina um she is probably and it's actually kind of curious that um a lot of the other conan mediums haven't really used her to the extent that they've used Belit or Valeria. Um, Yasmina is kind of badass and very... Um, she's proper, but, like, she, like, knows her place and her people. And um, she's very... Like, she doesn't... Mm, she doesn't fall for Conan's wiles like um, other chicks have. Um, I hope that wasn't offensive. But, um, so there's that. And one of the coolest, like, how Conan ends up meeting her, there's, it's not convoluted, but it's, like, really in-depth. Like, Conan's, like, leading a horde of um hill people and yasmina um has her kingdom and someone killed her um brother or something and she has um seven of conan's people held hostage so they can make a trade to where conan can um thwart a threat let's say well conan just comes in through a window and um he's about to like beat the crap out of some dude when yasmina comes in and he's like um he sees her and she's like huh and then the guy's like yasmina <clears throat> and he's like what and so he just like grabs her and jumps out a window and um like skitters on rooftops with her and then jumps on his horse and takes off. And it's actually um, quite humorous, like how that works. And then then you have this whole other thing where somebody finds out about it and goes and tells her lover, who is like a, um, what do you call it? Like a apprentice for the people of the Black Circle and all this other stuff. And... Um, like just things start getting like, like there's a lot of moving parts. So again, if you, this is what I would say. If you are a fan of the Lord of the Rings books, if you're a fan of the wheel of time, um, if you're a fan of these like really epic fantasy stories, like books, let's say, and you were interested in getting into Conan and say you read um, like the Slithering Shadow or um, I don't know, Man Eaters of Zambula and were like, man, these Conan stories are pretty fucking boring. Not a lot goes on. The people of the Black Circle would probably um, entice you a lot more than other Conan stories. There is so much going on, so many characters, so much intrigue, and so much action, and the sorcery again is pretty awesome. Um, in fact, like, one of my favorite bits in this whole thing, um, and here's a spoiler for you, um, one of the people of the Black Circle, um, they just like go like this and this dude's heart rips out of his chest and his bones snap and his skin rips open and his heart like goes into the dude's hand and the guy drops dead and then they just like toss the heart and it's just like beating on the ground. Um, pretty effective um, as far as getting rid of people you don't like. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty badass. And like there's just tons of cool little bits and the way this story ends um 
as compared to other Conan stories where he just like gets the girl and rides off in the sunset or floats off into the sunset. Um, it's a bit different. And so I think, um, if you are also someone who may not have enjoyed Conan, um, because of just how, um, how he is with the ladies, um, you, I think you'd like this one too. And this is a funny thing. I was actually um, talking <clears throat> with a viewer on email and we were talking about Conan and how um, women approach Conan. And um, it was really funny because most women I know, and I'm trying to think of a woman I know who has read Conan and just hated it. Um, but most women I know who've tried Conan out really dug it a lot. Um, and it's weird as a um, privileged white man um, to think about that. Because when you read Conan, you automatically are like, oh, man, the ladies aren't going to like this. You know, we, we need to we need to protect them from like reading shit like this because this is this is just bad. Um and that actually hasn't been my, um, my, uh, my experience. And, um, when I was talking to, um, my buddy about this, uh, he said the same thing, like, um, that he was, um, him and his girlfriend were, um, reading some stuff and he thought she was going to like freak out on some shit and she really dug it a lot. So, um, what does that tell us? Um, it doesn't tell us anything. Um, it means that we're probably preconditioned to assume people will feel a certain way before actually finding out if they're feeling that way. So, um, but I'd be interested to see what you think about this. Have you given um, a, a female some Conan to read and they just let you have it? Um, being the barbarian pig that you are, or did they quite enjoy it? Um, that would be interesting. So anyway, People of the Black Circle, it's longer than the other stories. Um, has a lot of great stuff in it. Um, I think, if again, if you read epic fantasy, this is a great gateway into Conan. And probably from here... Um, if you were to read um, Hour of the Dragon or any of the like um, Robert Johnson um, Conan novels, you would pro or Rob Robert Jordan, I'm sorry, Conan novels, you would really um, dig it a lot. But shit, if Robert Johnson was writing Conan novels, they'd be a lot different, don't you think? Um, but anyway, so with all that said, um, let me know what you think down below, and I will talk to you guys later.